The fires continue to burn in one of the many cremation grounds on the banks of the Ganges River. Considered the holiest source of water by Hindus, many want to be cremated near it and have their ashes scattered in the water. Workers say in recent times they've never had to deal with so many bodies. The daily count keeps changing. Some days we cremate 40, 50 or even 70 bodies. It's even reached 145 in one day. But over the past week, around 100 bodies suspected to be of COVID-19 victims have been found floating in the Ganges in the states of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. In Bihar, there have been reports of a shortage of wood for funeral pyres because of the unprecedented number of cremations that's denied by the local administration. But Bihar is also India's poorest state, with only 92 community health care centres for 120 million people. Raghavendra Pandey travelled from his hometown to the capital Patna to find a hospital for his wife. He told Al Jazeera he can't afford the medical care or food for himself. I have to buy medicines every day. We get few tablets from the hospital for free, but they are for basic illnesses. We got medicines worth around 20 cents and that's it. We have to buy everything from elsewhere. They give food to the patient, but not for the relative. Shishid lost his uncle to coronavirus. He is one of many people in Bihar who say their relatives were neglected because of a lack of healthcare workers. There is only one doctor for every 28,000 people. The health system across India has collapsed, whether it is the ICU or the general ward. Relatives are not being allowed to stay with patients and patients are dying. There is no one to feed them water or clean their soiled clothes. Health experts say most COVID-19 deaths in Bihar and India's rural areas, where 65% of the population live, are not being counted. Only 2.4% of the deaths in Bihar are medically certified. A large number of people who, ne- who could, could not find a bed, if they wanted to find a bed, they died in ambulance, they died in transit. For many reasons, they did not have resources to come to a hospital, they died at home. Cases of the virus in India have now topped 24 million, with more than a quarter of a million deaths, but it's widely suspected that the actual figures are likely to be much higher. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.